boys, welcome to another episode of Cars of Facebook Marketplace. I lost track of how many parts we've done. I think this is part number 10. So we thought we'd spice it up a little bit. Now, recently, one of the fans hit me up because we're blowing up. We got over a thousand subs on YouTube and about 10 views per video. Those are some good odds. Recently, a fan hit us up and was like, how do I find cars on Facebook Marketplace? Which coincided perfectly with timing. A complete stranger hit me up yesterday and said, I'm looking for a car for $5,000. So I'm going to help out these two people, one of the fans and a complete stranger, find a car in their budget. Now, I'm accompanied by two guests right now. Please introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Tyler. Hey, Tyler. How's it going? It's going good, man. We're looking at some cars. We're we're actually the priority today is we're actually going to teach people how to use Facebook Marketplace because it seems there's some people out there that they might be new to the platform or they simply Absolutely. don't know how to use it. Yeah, it can be quite confusing, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. I'm Priscilla. I would like to say that I'm probably the number one fan of this channel. I've seen every single episode since the launch and I couldn't be more proud to be here. That's excellent. Now you now this is you know, you you're humble, you're supporting the channel, but this is cottage calico vinyl we have on the line right now. So quite the quite the significant influencer on the internet. You you made the shirts, you sent the shirts which have been featured in other videos, so thank you very much for that. Well thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I do want to say that we just got back from Blink-182 concert, like literally 15 minutes in the door and we're on a video with you. So um, my voice is a little happy because I know every single um, bear with me if <laughs> I get a little squeaky. Nice. Now, do you make Blink-182 theme shirts? Surely you would. Definitely. And I make other theme shirts. So if you're not a fan of Blink-182, Shame on you, but okay. if, if you're a fan of someone else as well, then let me know and I'll put as many vulgar words on a shirt as you want. Look at my Etsy, you'll see. Okay, Etsy link in the <laughs> bio. You can find that link right next to www.ecstaticjp. If that page didn't exist, that website, this YouTube channel wouldn't exist. So jump on there, support it, buy a sticker, or get yourself some big old deep dish, big offset JDM style wheels at affordable prices. With that being said, are we ready to look at these vehicles? Oh, I'm ready, man. <laughs> He's been waiting. He's been waiting for oh, this. I'm, I'm salivating here. These are all going to be under five grand, right? That's the target, okay? So I've opened up a couple here. I've opened up a couple here, which I think are worth reviewing because they would, uh, the average person might consider them but also if you got a little bit of jdm taste there's an option there for you as well first we gotta actually look at how to use facebook marketplace because i found these listings all by myself and you at home you can do this too if you follow this simple simple guide okay so you guys can see my screen i'm on facebook marketplace yes yeah absolutely all right if you got any questions Please intervene, okay? We're, we're going to go through this step by step in detail. So, we want to look up a car, okay? I use this car for everything. Easy default to look for is a Honda Jazz because I own one. So, I go into the search term and what I do is I type in Honda Jazz, okay, into the search bar. All That's right. all there is to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Well, there's, there's more. But we got it. We got to get to that. Okay, so we've typed it in. Now, what was our budget? Are you are you able to search by budget? Absolutely. So if, if I'm saying I want to spend no more than five grand, are you able to just plug that in and it pulls it up? I love that you asked that because you wouldn't believe it if I told you. But if you look just down here, it's got price minimum to maximum, and we can put our price range in there. I don't believe it. I didn't think you'd believe it if I told you. So we can go $5,000 right here. Okay? And it's as simple as pressing enter after that. Oh, wow. 
Instantly. Instantly. At your fingertips. At, at so, our fingertips. Yeah. Is this feature? I know that right now you're on the, you're on your desktop. Is this feature available on the phone as well? Absolutely. Can you search marketplace this way too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So on the Great. mobile phone, you can also search for the price range. I believe there's a different button you need to click, but it's right there. It's at your fingertips, at your disposal. Nice. Have we got any more questions from the audience? I'm just blown away right now how easy this is. Yeah. Very accessible, isn't it? Anyone I'm ready to can get do in, it. To, I'm, I'm ready to get into C cars. I'm ready to see this. Yeah, we're ready to buy. All right, all right. So now you're you, you've gone from a like a viewer, someone looking. You're you're now a buyer. So lucky for you guys, I've prepared five listings that we can review and consider purchasing and you're gonna tell me if it's a good deal because i'm just i'm i'm the feed i'm finding the cars and you gotta tell me if they're good or not okay you're the you're the buyer i'm ready all right first of all we got this 2009 subaru impreza for forty eight hundred dollars it's got two hundred twenty one thousand kilometers it's a manual transmission it's had a bunch of owners it's got some new timing belt and water pump. Condition looks 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 factory, okay? There's no modifications, simple. The seats appear to be quite stained in the back. Maybe some activities went there, but I'm sure you can clean that. All right, what do we think of this one? Yeah, I'm into it. It's a great color. It looks pretty pretty clean and I mean, even though it is a non-turbo, it means a manual and you could do all this kind of same suspension stuff you could do on a WRX. So you really could make this something cool if, you know, if you're trying to just have a cool little basic daily driver. I agree. I agree. I'd like to chime in here. I like that this is a hatchback because it's more uh, versatile than a sedan. Not quite as spacious as a wagon, so you can't haul as many things, say, maybe you're find some some free on Facebook Marketplace elsewhere that you want to go pick up. Mm. Um, you can pull the seats down and, you know, put that cabinet right in the back. Uh, this is a great option. I definitely like hatchbacks, so I'm really glad you started there. Excellent. I think this one's pretty awesome, personally, because... It already yeah. comes with rain guards. Yeah, that's cool. The Yeah, all I think it needs guards. is some window tent and some wheels, wheels. from, static, from uh, static JP right there. and Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, get yourself a cool little car here, and you can and you can go with that street style. You can lower it, put some cool wheels on, or you can raise it. Alternatively, put some big boy it. wheels on. Yeah, yeah. Do you sell big boy wheels as well? Indeed, I do. So if you have access to the spreadsheet, okay, we got a spreadsheet with all these wheels on them. Okay, you gotta all you gotta do is simply drop me a line. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. Check it link in the bio you only need to chat me on one social media you can hit me up and i'll send you the spreadsheet which includes four by four wheels okay and they're ready for your access yeah so we're a fan of the subaru impreza yeah, yeah i like this one i got it's got two thumbs up for me i think it's a pretty cool car it's fairly reliable and you can do all the same stuff as wrx i think it's i think it's a perfect car i think i'd maybe offer like 45 even and see if they mm. take it Look, I think they would. I think they would. Um, it's not a big difference. I think that'd be a reasonable offer, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Save yourself some money. Pay for the registration, on it, you know? Yeah, I take that $300 and put window tent on here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So we've certified this is a good buy. So this, again, average person can go on Facebook Marketplace, find a car for very cheap. This is a good one. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. We got... We got the 2009 Mazda 3 with 146,000 low kilometers on it. And wow. we got the manual wow. transmission here for $2,000. What's the catch? Am I, am I seeing that right? 2000 Yeah, I think. Yeah. Is the stream still going on your monitor? It's open. Okay, you are seeing it then. It's happening. Wow. So, what's the catch? See, I haven't reviewed these because I'm trying to keep it a little bit spicy, you know? I'm trying to see what's, you know, what's good. And Have this, you reviewed these previously or are these new to you as these, well? These are brand new to me. And I'm like, this one here listed about an hour ago. So we might find this something up. Fresh. We might find something up. But so far, 
is looking good, okay? So let's get, give a quick rundown. It's $2,000, it's got low kilometers, it's a manual red exterior, black interior, we're about to see the color. It's a sport model, I'm not sure what that has, maybe a little bit better trim. Um, never broken down, they owned it since 2015, so like eight years. The power windows are faulty, only the driver's window works, that's fine, that's the only one you need when you're picking up your Baja Blast. And that's likely the only issue needing fixing for a safety certificate. It's got some hail damage, it's got some hail damage and a small dent seen on the picture. Let's look at the pictures. Seats are cleaner than the last one. Okay, bit of clear coat peel. <clears throat> That's definitely a thing. And there's can a... be fixed with a wrap, though. Oh, for sure. For sure. Wrapped. If you need a wrap. Yeah. yeah, you flake that clear coat off and it's ready to wrap. Yeah, that's right. If you need a wrap, get into my DMs on Instagram, okay? All right. I think... I'm thinking, I'm feeling positive about this one. Where's the hail damage? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Uh, oh, hold up. Let me get a larger image. I see image. some dents there. Yeah, let's... Honestly, yeah. that... I don't know if that's hail. Hail doesn't come from the side. That's like a shopping cart. That's what do you like guys call them? shopping carts. Many of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dozen shopping carts. <laughs> so... I mean, that's... Like, when we blow that up and we see the big size, that's kind of... <laughs> That's pretty beat up. <laughs> but we got to remember this costs $2,000. For $2,000, 146,000 kilometers, it really is not bad. Like, I mean, yeah. You the, could, like, do the stuff savings, on this. The savings that you're getting with this car, you can get a whole, pop out some of those dents, get mm. a wrap. This mm. thing would be cool. Mmm. I agree. This thing I, is already cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's a nice hatch. It's red. Red's fast, and it's the. You know what? The coolest. The the coolest thing is is the money that you've got left in your pocket. That's super cool, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah, for one hundred forty six thousand kilometers. What's that? And can you convert that to miles? Real it's quick. It's probably I think that's like ninety. 80, it's eighty or ninety. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I also I want to touch on as well. That's low. I don't know a ton about Mazda threes, but I'd imagine it's just like the Subaru we just touched on is. You know, there's a performance model. You know, I think it's the MPS there or the Mazda mm, Speed mm, Three. Mm. So coilovers and all that stuff, I'm sure, are you know cross compatible. Yeah, you've so, got great again, aftermarket support because there's a there's a sporty there's a there's a turbo variant on the market, so you get great access to parts. Yeah, it's, yeah. I just did the conversion. It's ninety thousand miles, so like that's well, a yeah. very low mileage car. Put some wheels on this thing. This would be awesome. Yeah. And it's five speed. Yeah, you've got manual. That's a huge bonus. That's, yeah, that's, that's ma awesome. That's massive. And you know what? I think this is really cool because, like, say you you just need a car. You just need to get to work, right? And you're trying to spend as little money as possible. The only reason why this particular car is so cheap is because that hail damage. If you had bought the same car for a lot more money that didn't have the hail damage, it's not going to enhance your journey to your job, right? right? Nope. It's it's gonna exactly. offer you the same damn thing with money. It's gonna have pressure. higher miles. None of the windows are gonna work. Yep. Can you, are you able to scroll in? What's that blue one in the background? Oh, okay. Let's get the zoom on that. I think that's a Mitsubishi Lancer. Yeah, that does look like a Lancer. Let's Lancer get that. Was sports sport cross, I believe. Yeah, they they're an they're an interesting car. They're very popular as well. Oh, they're pretty cool. I mean, there's a turbo variant of them as well, I believe, right? There like is the rally art. Uh... Yeah, those are pretty neat. Yeah, find one of those under five grand for me. Right, can you see that? <laughs> no. no, all we can see is your Facebook screen. Oh, okay. You can't see me zooming in on that. That's correct. Oh, okay. Don't worry about that then. That's okay. <laughs> the we'll viewers, the, video later. the viewers <laughs> might get a laugh as to what I just did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> When okay. I'm a viewer later, I will. <laughs> when you're viewing the video back. I will laugh at it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Honestly, to be honest, between this one and that Subaru, if I just moved to a new place, I'm trying to establish, like, car, job, friends, I'm picking this one between this one and that last one. Because this is going to save me enough money to get that kind of bling factor. Mm. To, like... Be impressive to people you know oh totally totally yeah so 
Oh, or, they've got cool wheels. I want to be their friend. That's that's how it goes, you know. People, mm -hmm. I suffer from this a lot. People always hit me up. You know, I got the wheels. Right. <laughs> you are the wheel man. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. Wait, cool. I need to write that down. Put that on a shirt. Oh yeah, from Cottage Calico Vinyl. Yeah. I feel like you know, not to take too long on this one. I mean, I feel like the Subaru was two thumbs up for me. Maybe I'm a little biased. I got one thumbs up for this, so I, I feel like we're doing pretty good here. I think we're going good. I'm going to hit the next one. Now, I don't know much about these cars. Uh, you might. I don't. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. 2002 Honda Civic. It's a sedan. And the first thing, I'm not even going to read the description yet. It's got this gold trim on it. And I'm not sure. I I saw 100%. Yeah, I've seen the gold badges before. I'm not, I, I'm not sure about this. I've seen a lot of Civics with this gold badge. So maybe it was like a dealer option. But what do you think? What, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know a ton about this generation of Civic. But I would imagine there's probably, you know, a lot of good aftermarket you could do with it. I mean, it's a manual transmission. and uh, Yeah, I... I I'm into it. The worst part about this car looks like it's this <laughs> rear bumper. Mm, we don't have yeah. too many angles on that, but yeah. And that's even fine. It's just a bit painful. No, exactly. Yeah, it this looks great. Honestly, I, I wouldn't wrap it. I would just put sick wheels on it and rock that yeah. scratchy bumper. Yeah, and it's four grand. Like, this is really cheap. We're cheap. And, and, a, and a manual. Been, and it's been up for a week, so maybe you got some negotiation power right there. Try get it for three. Who? What's gonna? Exactly. It's not gonna hurt. Thirty five hundred. I mean. Now, the only thing, uh, with this that gives me some, some vibes, bad ones, is that it is being sold by a dealer. All right. I'd, I'm. Yeah. I'm Agreed. typically not. I thought a fan it was a little. That. I thought it was a little highly priced for what it is. Especially by if you look at his page, uh, he's got yeah. no, his Facebook profile's got no picture, and he's got. Three star review, 137 reviews. So he's not doing too good. A lot of one stars in there. And you know, three star reviews, it's not going to normally be like 100, right. like five stars, 100, three stars. It's no. only going to be one or five. Exactly. Exactly. That's how people. Yeah. The people don't leave in between yeah. normally. And we Look, can see it literally that. Literally is proof of this. Yes. Right. Exactly. It's all one or five. Literally every yeah. single time. So. Uh, I mean,. The car itself is a thumbs up, you know, that sort of car. Like, mm. it's a nice looking car and very fuel efficient and mm. could be fun, you know, with a exhaust and maybe some, you know, light stuff. But if by the ch any chance this comes with any type of warranty from this dealer, that'd be cool. If it doesn't, I'd probably go try to buy something around this price range from maybe private an individual, yeah, private sale. Yeah, I can't see anything about warranty on this, so... It's so old, I, I don't know if that would actually be an option. I agree, like, um, 2002, it's hard to really, like, they probably I, they probably got this, like, traded in for some other car or something, and now right. that, yeah, that's, that's how I'm trying to rationalize it. And I do want to say, like, yeah, it's an older car, but that's not, like, a derogatory thing. Yeah. The AC probably still works, the windows probably still work, Civics are so common. I don't know how often um, they're in like part yards for you there, but every other car in the junkyards here is a Definitely. Honda Civic. Parts you know. easy. Easy, something, exactly. Something I want to mention a, about this. Something, a little sporty wing, so that's cute. I got to mention this now. The gold badges, people, that's probably a little bit controversial. I'm going to go ahead and say, I think that's awesome. You know, you don't... You, people, people a bit too focused on spending all the money and having builds. Something so simple and free, by the way, that'll be basically free to spice up your ride without without spending the bank. I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. I am too. Yeah. And as Compliment well. it by throwing some gold wheels on there. It'll look like they're supposed to be there. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, it's got the little gold strip on the the front end. Yeah. Now. I think I think this is. Yeah, I think this is a one a one thumbs up for me. I think it's it's pretty cool. Mm. The, you know, the 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 dealers maybe could be a little dodgy, but mm. overall, I think the, it's, it could be a solid contender. Just you know, be careful with your inspection. Absolutely, this is going to be a solid car. These cars last forever. Mm. Well, it has already. It's on two hundred forty thousand kilometers, and it's got no issues. 
So, and it's got the roadworthy with it, so it's legal. You can get that thing driving, no, no, no more to pay. You just hand over the money, and now you're driving the car. Yeah, just what you need when you move to a place and you got a lot going on in your life, and you know, start fresh. So, damn you right. Need some stability. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah it's just, you know. Nothing it's... says reliability like a 2002 Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. That's the definition of reliability right there. Yeah, don't miss this opportunity to have this reliable Civic. <laughs> okay. Now I got I got two uh two more. One more, sorry. Two three more. Alright. <laughs> but they're kinda it's kinda merged into one. They're all the same car. Alright. So <clears throat> right here we got 2002 Toyota Aristo, $28,000, okay? 149,000 kilometers, pretty good. This obviously, twin turbo, 2JZ car, nice interior, it's got the VIP, it's an import. Big money, can we agree Can we agree on that? It's a lot of money to spend. Yeah, I love the body kit on this. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. this is very cool. This is super cool, BN Sports body kit, I believe, or Vertex, one or the other. Um, this is super cool. All right. But picture this scenario, right? You've, you've gone onto Facebook marketplace. You didn't know how to use the tool yet on searching the prices and you're getting these, these Aristos for 28 grand. You're like, I don't have 28 grand. I'm trying to spend five, but I want the same cred. I want the same street cred. Well, fear not. Luxury. We got two options for that. Okay. We got this one here, which is even the same color. It's three thousand dollars, and we got this it, one for fifty five hundred. Okay. Does it come with the dog? We might have to PM the owner for that. Just go check. If it does, that's a really good deal. I'd be a steal. Um, if not, you know, maybe you can negotiate. But there's two. Okay. This is this is a bait. This is a bait trap. Okay. Because we got to be cautious. The people, you know, the people watching this video are new to it. You know, they saw the tutorial in the title, so they're trying to figure out how to use Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes things aren't so hot. Sometimes things aren't as good as what they seem. So I'm going to, this is a, this is a bait trap. All right. I'm going to give you these two options and you're going to tell me which one is the good one and which is the bad one. Okay. So here's the test. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this one, they're both 98 models. They're both silver GS 300, obviously non-turbo. Uh, this one, no swaps, 98 GS 300 has coilovers and exhaust. Everything is in working order, except a few ball joints in front end suspension comes with Sony head deck and fusion subs. All right. Pretty simple. It is high on the kilometers at 293,000. Okay, but we know NA2JZ. That's a that's 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 a good motor right there. They're gonna last mm -hmm. forever. Photos, paint defect there. Okay, and there looks to be some adhesive on the boot. Looks yeah. like maybe they had a wing 3M taped on there yeah, at one point. Or something. That's what I'm. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, uh, we don't have any interior photos. Okay, that's what we got to deal with. Maybe you know you got to PM him sort of thing so that's the first car that's the first car this is the second one this one's 5500 it's a little bit more on the pricey side it's got 40,000 more kilometers at 330 so definitely up there clean stock gs300 everything works great condition have had seat covers on it whole life aircon works seats work sunroof no leaks has red joke great base for a cool build uh, they've uploaded a lot of photos and actually they got gold badges on this they're doing the gold badges Okay, uh, they got some sticky tape over the headlight washer. They break a lot, I imagine. Yeah, it's probably a fairly easy fix, though. Mm. Mm. I agree. All right. Oh, interior is nice. Yeah, I can already see that. This is this is looking good. Three, three, one k on. That's a lot of kilometers, but we can see this person may have taken care of it. All right. Yeah, this looks very well kept. All right, I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm going to put them side by side. Which one? All right, which is the bait and which one is the good car? Oh, 100%. I'm going for the one that's 5,500. It looks very clean, potentially, you know, owned by an older person. And your GS300 is a, a great platform. You could leave it stock and have something super comfortable to drive around in. And if you want to have a little build, you, I mean, you've got a great platform. You Again, you got all the same stuff that the you know, Aristo uses. So if you want to 
body kitted out and do exhaust and coilovers and all that stuff, you got the platform for it. Or if you want to just have a nice cruiser, you can do that too. A nice, comfortable, luxury cruiser. Luxury. The, the sunroof was open. I could tell the windows roll up and down. This car was really well taken care of. So I'm going to have to agree with you there that the one for 55. Um, another thing is my budget is five grand and someone's got a car that I really want listed for 5,500. I'm going to offer them five grand. Like this is all I've got. What can I do to bring this down? If, Totally. The, if it was reversed and I had that car listed for five thousand fifty five hundred dollars, um, and someone offered me five thousand cash, I would say, when can you come get it? Absolutely, it's not a huge stretch, and for for that amount of money, you could actually be getting something pretty fantastic. Yeah, I also just want to touch. I believe that car was posted for I think six weeks, so you've got some room there. Probably got a little room there. Yeah, maybe you even offer forty five hundred and see if they'll meet you at five grand. Great. Great, that's yeah. awesome. I think this one has been up for a little while for the reason that it's in a very rural area. Um, for sure. So a lot of, lot of the people um, that are seeing this for sale, it's probably a few hours drive, so that's really shortening the market for them. Mm -hmm. Right. That's an opportunity to get an excellent, well-taken-care-of car that's in your budget. You got it. Sometimes it is you an opportunity. Travel a little bit further, but if you're really good at making connections and you know, building those friendships, especially if you're in a new area, get one of your girls to take you. No problem. Damn right. Damn right. Okay. Well, you passed the test. Uh, the first car was the bait car. The second car, okay, I don't know anything about the second car, but immediately we but we can all agree that's pretty awesome. I want to... 100%. I think the dog was there to <laughs> throw us off because the first thing I said was, is the dog included? It was that's distracting all I was looking at. us. I was not looking at the. I didn't even see the adhesive or any damage until like the fourth time looking at the picture because I was just looking at the dog. Yeah, another thing I noticed as well in the bait car, there's a another GS right next to it. So I that's wonder what that, what that's about. I wonder if they're into the cars or. So this person or... is selling that one as well. I checked their profile, and here it is okay. also. They got this white one for sale. Uh, oh, oh, they're wrecking it. That's a wrecking car. So again, this is this is the things you got to check. You got to look at their profile and look what they're doing. Check the background of the photos. For sure. Yeah. All yeah. right. I'm about to drop a bomb on you. This is this is a big bomb. This car was my first car. No way. Hundred percent. I seen it get posted up for sale a couple weeks ago. I hit up the owner and I confirmed everything. I I got the VIN of it. I actually looked up the VIN of my old car, and it gave me that number plate. Oh, wow. So, I know what this thing has been through, and it's not <laughs> disclosed in the ad, all right? So, why did I sell it? Well, what had happened was um, someone crashed into me at a car meet, okay? They were in a truck, and they reversed into me and smashed the quarter panel. See where that paint is peeling? Yep. That got smashed in. The car was written off on insurance. Now... Wow. Yeah. The next guy that had the car, uh, someone fixed it. Uh, I think he did a good job. I'm, I'm good friends with that guy today. That's how I met him, became good friends with him. Um, I think he did a good job. Obviously, the paint maybe is not so good, but the, the damage fix is as good as someone can do themselves. Yeah. The next guy, that, the next guy that bought the car crashed it. <laughs> Again, all is worth it. So the is whole... that the guy who's selling it now? No, 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 no. This guy picked it up to to resell it or part it out. Obviously, he's got a few of these cars, but one of the private owners who wanted this car crashed it. So where he says a few bull joints in front end suspension may need fix. Um, I know for a fact the the front end was smashed up, and for a good portion of its life, it had uh black front end, so like black bonnet, black fenders. And that sort of stuff. So, and he hasn't mm -hmm. taken photos of that. Yeah, convenient. So convenient. So, these are the things you gotta you gotta be looking out for. Um, Imagine you see this ad and you go out there thinking, "Man, my budget is five grand. I've got a little bit of room on top because this is gonna be such a great deal." And you get there, and this car is two different colors. Or even worse, you buy the car because it's all been painted one solid color, and then you find out it's got all this damage from these collisions. Yeah, yeah. 
And on yeah. top of that, the motor for a while... Uh, so when I bought it, it had an engine swap with a lower kilometer motor. And then at some point uh, with one of the owners, he oh, told me the motor... Oh, we still got it? Did he cut out? Stand by, audience. We couldn't hear you. You, you cut out. That's okay. I was just saying uh, the motor um, had a catastrophic failure at some point of one of the other owners who had it and that's not listed in the ad so obviously it had a massive failure i don't know what that entailed but it wasn't running massive failure and now it's now it's in this dealer and right there it says no swaps no swaps here's a photo of the car when i had it wow yeah it looks a lot different now that's the collision Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you can see it's right where the paint's failing. Yep. That's um, spicy. Still got the two Fusion subs. He says it's got Fusion subs in the ad. They're still in there. They're mine. Again, another photo of it. Look, was once, you know, this car could look good, and it did once look good. Yeah, well, I mean, this is proof right here. I mean, just a picture of your old car right there. I mean, that gold one for 5500 could look like that, you know, just some wheels and some cool little bits. And that, you've that's got yourself right. A cool little cruiser. Not a lot. And by the way, yes, I had a 3M spoiler on it. By the way, when I had it. Yeah, I figured it was like a little duckbill <laughs> or something. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So okay, cool. Well, that's gonna conclude the video. This has been this has been a good video and a little bit more sophisticated. You know, we're not going crazy. We're not swearing about these horrible deals. We're making a video that you can actually take something out of other than laughter. What do you guys what are you guys thinking? How was the how was the listings? I'm feeling pretty good, a lot more confident, especially with someone who's not familiar with Facebook or Marketplace. Um, I feel like I can take that next step and do my own search. And that it empowers me. That it makes me feel really confident. That's good to hear. That's the that was yeah. the purpose of this. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I can really apply everything I've learned here today. I got to see some cool cars here. Definitely think that uh, there's a lot of great contenders here. I mean, just because your budget's five thousand dollars doesn't mean you shouldn't aim to shoot for that fifty five hundred or six thousand dollar mark. You know, people are negotiable, and you know, there's some great cars out there for sure if you're willing to put in the work to look for them. I agree, and you got to remember when you're looking for the cars, you're putting your budget in there. If you got only five grand, it might be worthwhile putting six thousand in there because you might find something that's like fifty five hundred or something like mm -hmm. this prime example that you would have yep. missed if you just went for five. And we know he's yeah, going to negotiate for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, just look at it as you know, there's a great opportunity out there if you're looking for cars. You know, if they've uh, been posted for over a month, I'm sure people are willing to you know work with you a little bit if you're interested and you're serious i agree i agree all right guys thanks for coming along with the video we're gonna conclude it there i'm gonna get this bad boy edited and uploaded thanks for thanks for thanks for being a guest in my show appreciate it thanks for having us hopefully we'll have something to wake up to it's now 11 p.m so we still need to unpack the car nice nice that you bought off facebook marketplace right for sure. We did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe Peace. maybe at the end, um, we can send you a picture, and at the end, you can uh, put a photo of like bought in October. <laughs> this is what happens when you use the search <laughs> tool. Product, yeah, product of Facebook Marketplace, a success story. <laughs> success story. <laughs> oh, that would be. So